the Black Garlic Carolina Reaper. This one was close. It uh, actually it was 60 to 40 percent on the voting. Um, Bravado Spice Co. If you saw Dr. and Ryan, Dr. Ryan and I actually reviewed their. I think it was blueberry and ghost pepper a while back. Heat for me is, is at a. I'll give it a two. It's got ghost pepper in it, and I'm not even sweating. You give it what you want, man. You give it a one. And so that was, we put it on ice cream, we tried it out, uh, just kind of see how it will go. Ended up being pretty good. Uh, a lot of Bravado Spice Co. sauces are very liquidy. This one's a little thicker. It has consistency of a barbecue sauce. And cut to, well, actually, as I pour it on, whoop, that's good enough. And now, cut to that B-roll. So with the Carolina Reaper, you know, I didn't even smell it yet. Man, I talked about barbecue sauce. Like, it does smell like a barbecue sauce of some sort. So when you look at the ingredients, ah, maple syrup is in there. Okay, so you got vinegar, red serrano, Carolina Reaper, roasted garlic, maple syrup, black garlic, black pepper, and sea salt. So here you go in the black garlic Carolina Reaper. The um, black garlic by itself already starts to make it fairly original just because there aren't a ton of sauces with that. We considered it for the warm your cold dev fart, uh, but black garlic jacks up the price quite a bit and it's more difficult to actually acquire. So uh, the texture, we got the aroma. I like the aroma, I think just anything with maple syrup. I, I tend to like. Um, aroma, gonna give it a four out of five. Appearance-wise, again, it's a, a brownish color almost. So last week we did the Rise and Die, the extract sauce. It's a little brown, and so I'm getting a lot of that here. Um, really like the color. Like, yeah. Oh, gonna give this one a five out of five in appearance. Texture, pour smooth. Based on the other Bravado sauces, I, I like the pour of this a lot better. So I'm going to give that one a 4 out of 5. That yeah, will make it a 5 out of 5. All right. I have no, <laughs> no reason not to. And now we'll give it a shot. So the flavor of this one's interesting. I'm going to see what all is going on. The Serranos are a bit lost on me. That Carolina Reaper definitely starts to pick up. Um toward the back half. We'll go ahead and dunk a corn dog in there as we're, we're thinking about this. Also, on Wednesday, new corn dog post is coming out. This one's gonna be pretty good. Just a little teaser there. <coughs> so, again, with a lot of Reaper sauces, if it hits you just right, you're gonna get a cough like that. There's some sweetness to it. The garlic, for something that has black garlic on the front, I'd expect a little more garlic out of it. Um, a little surprising there for me. Heat and spice, I'm definitely going to give that a 5 out of 5. It's Carolina Reaper sauce. This one's sticking with me. It's hanging out. Yeah, it's uh, giving me some of the, the mouth breathing. So flavor-wise, I'm st still trying to figure it out. Expect it to be a little sweeter. Expect it to be a little more garlicky. I'm just not sure if there's too much going on there that I can't quite tell. But I would say, whew, this one, yeah. <laughs> it's, sometimes when you eat really hot things, you get like a ringing in your ears too. I'm definitely at that point with, with this sauce. So uh, if I could give Heat and Spice a 6 out of 5, I would. Just because it, it is cranking it up even a little further than I expected it to. <laughs> um... Flavor, I've, I'm going to go a 3 out of 4, just because I'm not, I like the flavor of it, it tastes good, but I'm not able to parse out all the individual pieces, and I'm not saying that I'm a sommelier and I'm going to be able to do that for all of them, but would expect to be able to, to pick it out, like the sweetness of the maple syrup a little more, or the garlic itself. Label... Bravado Spice Co., pretty uh, straightforward. Like the little logos that they give, the flat like line icons that they give for the ingredients. Always give them a 4 out of 5. Um, just because it's straightforward to the point. 
and typography is good. Originality, black garlic, not a ton of these on the market that are legit black garlic. Um, especially <laughs> mixed with a Carolina Reaper. Uh, we'll go ahead and give this one a 5 out of 5 here. And we'll tally it up. Alright, so the Bravado Spice Black Garlic Carolina Reaper coming in at 43 out of 50. So pretty good sauce. And yeah, it's got that kick. It's definitely a Carolina Reaper sauce. Initially I was like, oh, I don't, I don't see that one so much. But... It definitely uh, picked up toward the end and really sealed the deal with uh, how much Carolina Reaper is in there. Again, Red Serrano, I, <laughs> I can't taste it. Our number two, our Serrano garlic, uh, follow your fart. Very garlicky, very Serrano-y. I didn't pick up on much of either of those. So uh, that will do it for our sauces and our snacks and our spicy Sunday in general. Hope you're having a great time. Uh, if you're enjoying these, please let me know what else we could be doing. Uh, is there some other sauce? Is there some other thing you'd like to see? Open to all ideas at this point. And did want to point out here, we just got two test batches back. So uh, this is a jalapeno poblano. It's got a little bit of lime in there as well. This is our super hot. So if you take our serrano garlic and you replace the serrano with a scorpion pepper, that's essentially what this is. So this is insanely hot. Uh, put it on a lot of food this weekend, and I, one of them almost made me get the hiccups. So as we talked about last week, anytime you get the hiccups, it's, uh, it's a pretty good sign in terms of heat. You mean, can you see the, the little drop on my nose? I'm getting, getting there. All right, gross. Uh, all right, thanks for joining. Again, you can check out every week on our Instagram story. is going to be asking you to vote on what's our next sauce. This week we did get to the Bravado Spice and the Chaka Sauce. Uh, next week, same deal. We'll ask some questions as well. Till then, have a safe and fun week, and we'll see you next time, Pepper people.